Hey, what's going on, you guys? So for today's video, we got more Sonic Movie 2 updates. Uh, more stuff being spotted on set. And then we also have, like, a couple of things as well. Um, like, just, like, a couple of things. One thing that I personally really wanted to add. And then as well as, like, people's predictions of a character, an extra character that we probably predicting that we might possibly see in the second Sonic movie. So now let me get my trusty phone right here and I am gonna be going onto my notes and because I have like everything that I wanna say on my notes right here. So we're gonna start off with the two things that were spotted on set and then we'll be going on to like the predictions and then like my one thing that I really wanted to add. So the first thing that we'll be talking about is the GUN tanks and Jeeps and everything uh, being spotted on set. Then we'll be the second thing we'll be talking about is uh, Jim Carrey being spotted on set, and then the third thing that we'll be talking about is more Sonic references. That was the one thing that I kind of wanted to throw in there into this video. And the fourth and final thing that we'll be mentioning that we're going to be saving for best for last is Will Shadow the Hedgehog make an appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog two. So, yeah, so we're going to be moving back up. So the first thing that we'll be talking about is the GUN tanks and Jeeps and everything being spotted on set. So now, just in case if you guys don't know, I'm not really fully too sure what I know, like what the GUN is. So I'll do the best I can actually explaining it from what I know. So the GUN, so basically it is basically like a SWAT team or a police force or something like that. Um, but that's what, I, that's basically what generally what they are. It's like some kind of like force team or something like that. Um, so basically they were featured in a couple of like other Sonic things as well, such as like TV shows, comic books maybe, and as well as maybe, um, some other video games as well. Uh, so they appeared in some Sonic games and maybe some comics. And then also they were all, they also did make an appearance in Sonic X, I believe in one or like in a couple of episodes of Sonic X. Um, but the one game that they were... Uh, feature that they are best well known for is Sonic Adventure 2. So now we'll be showing a pictures or a couple of pictures of the tanks and jeeps and helicopters uh, right here right now so then you guys can see what they look like. So now really quickly what's making a lot of people think that this is the GUN uh, SWAT team or police force? So what you guys can see uh, if you take a look up close and we'll zoom, zoom in on the pictures uh, you will see a G logo on there. So now, yes, that could just mean like generally anything with the, with the letter G. Um, but then like also too, let's show you guys a picture of a helicopter that we do have here. And on one part of the helicopter, you will see some initials. There is an S and an A with a 2 on there. And that is the initials for Sonic Adventure 2, which that is a really cool little Easter egg. So now let me get my phone, and then we'll be talking about uh, the second thing that I really wanted to mention is Jim Carrey spotted on set for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I am super happy because uh, there is a video that is linked. I'm not too sure that it's still up, but I'll be showing you guys a little bit of it. Um, just mute it though, because I don't want to get copyrighted or something like that. Um, so basically in this 50 second video that I am showing you guys right now, or that I saw, was that um, th th like it was on set, so it's outside, there was a guy being lifted up in the air, and all of a sudden, he was bald with a funky mustache and with a fancy suit on or whatever, and I was like, that's Dr. Robotnik, and I'm super excited. So really quickly, though, too, uh, a lot of people were saying that Jim Carrey was spotted on set for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and right after people started saying that, uh, like a couple of days ago, I looked onto IMDb just to see and just to kind of like see if this was true. So I go on to IMDb and I type up uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Let me get this up really quick. And when I go onto the casting list, 
shortly after when people said that they spotted him on set, he is on the casting list of being Dr. Robotic for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which that is really awesome and really incredible. Mostly just because I am just super excited to see like how far Jim Carrey can take this Dr. Robotic character. We see the start of it. We see what Jim Carrey is capable of with the characters that he does. And he really does deliver with a buttload of characters that he does. And we've only just seen the beginning of it in Sonic the Hedgehog in the first movie and we'll be seeing a little bit more of Jim Carrey's talents for for the second film and I'm very very excited to see what he brings to the table. Now the third thing that we're going to be talking about is more Sonic uh, game references or more references to the Sonic the Hedgehog games. So like I said more references so basically what I mean about this one is that um, there's a little bit more things to do with the second movie. So with the first movie, it was very limited to what I kind of think. And here's why. You had two characters that were from the Sonic universe and as well as from the Sonic video games. You have Dr. Robotnik and you also did have Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, like I said, it's only very limited to how many references you can do with just limited of characters. So they could, they just did like the amount that they could possibly do to bring out like a buttload and a good amount of references though too. I'm not saying that there wasn't like, oh, there was no references at all. There was actually a good amount of references to like Sonic games, Super Smash Bros. So what really makes me think that we're going to be having a lot more references into the second movie is we're having a lot of more characters or a couple of newer characters as well. We have Tails and we also gonna, possibly we might have Knuckles uh, appearing in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So of course that we have a little bit more characters plus a little bit more characters from the Sonic universe, uh, there probably might be a, a little bit more references to the Sonic games, a little bit more than we had with the first film. So like I said, we do have a little glimpse, a little bit of like um, sneak peek or something like that of the references that we're going to be getting. And that is the G GUN uh, tanks and everything, the SWAT team or the police force. That is a little glimpse of like a little bit of references that we'll see in the second film. Now, the fourth and final thing that we're going to be talking about. Uh, a lot of people have been discussing this and making predictions for this, mostly just because of the first thing that we were talking about. Will Shadow the Hedgehog make an appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog 2? So, going back to the GUN. Uh, GUN was featured and they were well known for Sonic Adventure 2. Now, in Sonic Adventure 2, the video game, uh, Shadow was, had a big part in Sonic Adventure 2. He had a big part in it. So now, because of the GUN being in the second movie, that is what's making a lot of people kind of sitting here, kind of scratching their heads and kind of thinking, just being like, will Shadow be in it? Will Shadow somehow make an appearance? Or will he have like a big part in the movie? So a lot of people are thinking about this. And I was sitting here and I was kind of thinking about like what I was kind of thinking about this and plus my decisions as well. So what I kind of think about Shadow being in the second movie or appearing somehow in the second movie is no. I don't want Shadow in the second movie. Now, let me do explain about this really quickly. Now, besides Sonic, I do love Shadow. Shadow is like one of the coolest, badass characters of all time. Shadow really does have a, an amazingly huge fan base. It's crazy on how many people love Shadow. So, obviously, a lot of people do want to see Shadow in some form, it possibly in the second film or maybe possibly in the third film or something like that. But in my opinion, I don't want to see Shadow in the second film. I really would love to see Shadow in a Sonic the Hedgehog movie more into the third movie.
Now, here's why. So now let's take a bit back look or back trace or something like that. Let's take a look at the history of the Sonic film from the first movie and what we are going to be expecting in the second movie and leading up to possibly maybe a third movie or something like that into the future. And then kind of like my problems and stuff about like what I kind of think about uh, if, if this would happen or something like that. So, in the first Sonic movie, like I said, it was very limited. You had two characters from the Sonic universe, which was Sonic and Dr. Robotnik. Then you had two more main characters as well, which was Tom and Maddie in the first film. So, you have four characters, four main characters in the first movie. So, th it took time to introduce those four characters, who they are, what roles there are going to be in the film, and then as well as doing that in the first movie. Now you have four of those characters continuing into the second movie. Now we're going to have possibly two more characters being thrown in, into the, like new characters thrown in into the second movie, which that is Tails. We had a little sneak peek at the end of the first film that Tails will be in it, and we also possibly, we might have Knuckles in the second film as well. So you have two more characters that have to be introduced. So you'll have two characters that will be introduced and you have four more characters that are gonna be just continuing into the second film. So that is about six characters that 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 you're gonna like that they're gonna have to like make references for uh and like interact with each other and all that stuff like we want like a little bit of time for them to introduce those two newer characters and how like they are gonna be kind of like circled into this like little group in the second film and i think that it's gonna take a little bit of time as well and mostly though too i think if if somehow, if it, if it is, if it is true, if Knuckles is going to be in the second film, I think Knuckles is going to be the more the antagonist, if that is, uh, the more of the main focus into the second film. Because I think somehow or some way it's going to work out kind of like how Sonic X did. Uh, doc, uh, Dr. Eggman in Sonic X, he blamed Sonic for something that happened or what was going on in the situation. He blamed on Sonic two Knuckles and made Knuckles go down to hunt Sonic. And then Sonic and Knuckles did have like a little brawl with each other in Sonic X. And this is what's making me kind of think that that's kind of got is what's going to go down in the second movie. You're going to have Sonic and Tails meeting up with each other and kind of like introducing Tails on like how like he came into this universe and everything and how those two characters will be teaming up and then possibly I think that Dr. Robotnik will blame Sonic and then Knuckles will go down and hunt him and then they'll have a big brawl and then all of a sudden they're gonna have to team up to go after Dr. Robotnik. So that is kind of like what I kind of think what's going to happen. You have two, like I said before, and I said it a couple of times, there is two new characters that are going to need to be introduced and being introduced properly. And then, like, I think that if they just threw in Shadow, that would just be too many characters, by my opinion. Uh, let me use a film as an example. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, with The Amazing Spider-Man 2, one of the biggest problems with that film that a lot of people had with, with that movie was there was just too many characters. They were throwing in so many villains and everything that I do have to admit, even knowing that I do have a soft spot for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I do have to admit that there was a crazy amount of villains and a lot of characters that, so basically what Sony really wanted to do with The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was that they wanted to make spin-offs off of that. They wanted to introduce characters in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and they wanted to branch out to all these like other characters and make like this some kind of like massive universe or something like that. Now, that's where the problem kind of hit. Then, it, since that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 felt more like a commercial film and for all these characters, and since that they had so many characters, 
It just, that film just felt so crammed and so cluttered and so crowded that it, 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 it was just a big old mess. And that's like one of the biggest things that did happen. Now, that is something that like, we kind of really want to avoid. We don't want to start like adding way too many characters because then if they have too many characters, then you have to like, okay, like now you have Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow, and you have to try to figure out some way to introduce them properly without like a lot of things getting too crammed and too cluttered. And plus with the storyline as well. Like I kind of think like since that Knuckles probably probably might be in the second movie, I think that they kind of really want to work in like the Knuckles kind of storyline or something like that. Like if they threw in Shadow, that would be like two like big kind of like storylines to really work on. And like I said, it, it probably might fall into the spider the Amazing Spider-Man 2 to where like it would just be too cramped and too cluttered. Personally what I kind of think is I would rather have Shadow being waited on and being put into the third film. I think like we should have in the second movie though I think Shadow should make an appearance. At the very end though kind of like how what they did when they release tales in the first film it was so like epic and so awesome and mind-blowing seeing tales at the end of the first sonic movie that meant like the first film was already awesome fun and like uh, like uh, awesome as well and having that easter egg letting us know that there's going to be another movie is truly very exciting and that's what i kind of think as well I would rather have like have Shadow have like a really epic kind of like continuation of a sneak peek that we could see. What I kind of want to see happen is I would love to see like Dr. like Robotic escape kind of like how he does in the Sonic video games and at the very end we'll see him like in his lab just like typing on a computer and doing like science science -y like things and stuff and having him like work on things in his lab or in like in his death egg or something like that and then all of a sudden like you'll see Dr. Robotic maybe like in the far distance like far away on the screen and they kind of like just pan it to the side or something like that and we get a glimpse of him working on or re releasing Shadow. So that's it you guys, uh, those were my thoughts about like what, I, like me explaining about uh, the GUN being spotted and as well as Jim Carrey being spotted on set. And also my thoughts about like what I think about maybe we might see more references in the second movie and as well as will we see Shadow in the second movie. So comment down below. I would like to hear what you guys have to say about like the GUN stuff or like about like Doc, uh, Jim Carrey being spotted or also to what do you guys think about the referencing like the Sonic games into this movie and as well as what do you guys think about like do you guys think that Shadow will make an appearance or do you think Shadow would be like a big focus in the second movie? Comment down below because I would like to hear your guys' thoughts. So yeah, so that's it you guys. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.